I have been in 50 countries, and Japan has the best food quality in the world. Um, and I read in the Japan Times maybe 10 years ago that Japanese customs had returned 35 kilograms of dried porcini mushrooms from Italy back to Italy because they said it was too highly contaminated with cesium from Chernobyl. This is uh, 25 years after Chernobyl. They're saying that the porcini mushrooms, the wild mushrooms from Italy, um, still have too much cesium in them. That's a very small amount compared to what is in the beef and other food products now in Japan. And the government, the politicians, the academics are all telling the Japanese pub po population to eat it and live their life normally and enjoy it, knowing this is genociding the future of Japan. Right. And, and, and that type of governmental de decision is only plausible in terms of that pyramid of the false flag operation and of intentional depopulation that starts with the British Crown, the Dutch Crown, yes. uh, the Zionist bankers out of the city of London, and the Rockefellers. And, and just to yeah. confirm that, to go further on with this blog, he says, quote, aside from the radioactive school lunches, the city of Yokohama also planned to send the city's children to a summer school in another two weeks in Ibaraki Prefecture where the air radiation was more than 10 times the official Yokohama number measured on the top of a five-story building. So can you imagine what the reading was on the ground? Much higher. The, the, re the highest radiation levels are on the surface of the ground because that's where the radioactive particles fa fall. Well, that was on top of a five-story building that's probably 83 feet high. Um, and um, and they're, so they're sending the children after they fed them radi radi radioactive food, they're sending them for the summer to an area near the Fukushima disaster that has air levels that are conservatively 10 times higher than in Yokohama, but in reality, it's a hot spot. It's much higher. The personnel at the summer school privately told the councilmen, I wouldn't recommend it. A personnel at the school in Ibaraki Prefecture told the Yokohama council, councilmen, I would not recommend your students coming to our, our facility for summer camp. And that's because of the radiation concern. Then, in late June, the councilmen reported the result of the meeting at the Board of Education. All the beef from Fukushima that went to school lunches in Yokohama from April 23rd to June 7th uh, came from the planned evacuation zone in Fukushima. There were 916 cows from the, the zone. None of them exceeded 5,000 counts per minute in surface res radiation, but none was tested zero. And I believe the radiation limit is about 500 counts per minute. But even at 100 counts per minute in the air, you better get out of that area because that is dangerous. The information was obtained <clears throat> by tracing the unique identification numbers for the cows. On July 9th in Japan, the news broke that the meat from a meat cow from Minamasoma City which is in Fukushima, was found with radioactive cesium of 2,300 becquerels per kilogram, almost five times the provisional safety limit, which is 500 becquerels per kilogram. And so the internal contamination in those cows, which was much uh, higher than expected, uh, from the external reading 
and um, it was five times higher than they're even allowed to um, to uh, release to the public. The councilman's post on July 9th said, quote, all Fukushima-grown beef that was served in school lunches in Yokohama City was contaminated. The contamination that was checked at the time of shipment from Fukushima Prefecture was only the surface radiation of a live cow, and there was no information as to the contamination after the cow was processed into meat. Why would they measure it if they had great profits to make? School children have already ingested this meat. There was a leak from some school nutritionists of this fact, but the city, the city's board of education, and the school principals lied by saying, quote, food items for school lunches are safe because they are sold in the market, unquote. As a result, elementary school children in Yokohama City have been internally irradiated. Finally, on July 11th, Yokohama City decided to stop using beef in school lunches. Caveat, they will stop for the month of July and they will use pork instead, as if pork is safe. They have an even more pigs than cows to get rid of from the contaminated areas of Fukushima. The last lunch will be on July 15th, then it's summer break. The city's labor union, which includes city workers who prepare school lunches, has issued a statement protesting, don't hold your breath, the city's decision to stop using beef as it will spread the baseless rumor. One or two detractors on the councilman's board who have been the apologists for the government seem to have disappeared after the news of 78,000 becquerels per kilogram of cesium within the hay fed to the cows. Disgusting. And it's disgusting. And so this deliberate uh, spreading of the radiation, which is part of the distribution of contaminated food products, um, has extended, for instance, to um, the uh, other cattle. And um, in the Minami Soma City, which I mentioned, uh, they measured 4,320 becquerels per kilo of, of radioactive cesium found in those in those uh, beef, um, and uh, they were from the emergency evacuation zone. Not even the planned evacuation zone or just the plane evacuation zone. It's from the zone that needs to urgently be evacuated. Um, the Prime Minister's assistant and current minister in charge of the nuclear accident at Fukushima his, uh, 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 Goshi Hosono is going to announce the abolition of the emergency evacuation ready zone because the first stage, Stepan Tepco's roadmap to cleaning up the plant, has been mostly successfully implemented. Well, it hasn't been. They haven't been able to do anything because the accidents and releases keep still happening. And none of the Arriva water treatment uh, pumps and, and filter systems, can't, have, they can't even get them to work. Um, now, this is horrible. Fukushima Prefecture has announced it will shut down the official shelters within Fukushima, which will force the evacuees to go back to their contaminated homes. Um, Minami Soma City has issued a notice to all 32,000 city residents who've been living in the shelters, temporary housing outside Fukushima Prefecture, that they must return to Minama so Soma, high radiation or not. And that was in the Mainichi uh, Yamagata newspaper version on July 12, 2011. Now, the national government will spend 100 billion yen, 1.26 billion U.S. dollars, 
to observe the health of a million Fukushima residents for 30 years instead of evacuating them as soon as possible, about 1,600 yen or $20 U.S. a year per resident is what this survey is costing. Life is cheap. Since the national government is utterly broke, it will ultimately be paid by the taxpayers of Japan. All of this is being passed on to the taxpayers, just like in the U.S., just like in every country with nuclear power. It's a totally corrupt, gangster-run, uh, City of London dominated operation. Uh, remember, Dr. Shunichi Yamashita will be the Vice President of the Fukushima Medical University who will do the observation and research. They tried to kick him out of the prefecture and now he got promoted. Uh, Matsumo City in Chiba Prefecture, that's the city where I collected the baby teeth when I was in Japan, found 47,400 becquerels per kilo of radioactive cesium in the ashes from the city's garbage incinerator. But the city simply mixed with other ashes with low radiation to bring the final number to 5,660 becquerels per kilo, which is allowed by the government. Since the final mixed ashes measured lower than the provisional limit for burying the ashes, which is 8,000 becquerels per kilo, the city already buried the ashes and will continue to do so. That was reported July 13th in the Mainichi newspaper, the Chiba version. On the other hand, Nagarayama City in Chiba Prefecture simply sent 30 tons of its radioactive ashes, 27,000 becquerels per kilo, from its incinerator by cargo train to Odate City and Akita Prefecture in Tohoku. That's way up in northern Japan near the, um, the disaster. And Nagarayama City has a contract with a private waste disposal company in Akita. This waste disposal company is not a nuclear waste disposal company. As far as I could tell from the description of the company, it is just a regular waste disposal company. So that was reported in another newspaper on the 12th. So the problem is the government is putting up these standards and limits and requirements that this highly contaminated garbage waste and ashes be disposed of, but they don't have any solution or offer any solution or any storage facility, so what can the cities do? They right. have to dilute it and ship it to some private company that's going to dump it somewhere. And this has happened all over the world. The mafia dumped huge amounts of radioactive waste all over the Mediterranean and down the coast of Somalia by loading ships with it. They buy old ships and um, fill them up with nuclear waste. They get paid tons of money and then they sink them off of Sardinia, off of the Turkish coast, off of the African coast. And all this stuff is leaking and killing divers and fishermen and polluting all of the food, the food supply. Right. We're, they're polluting the whole food supply for the whole planet. Right. Right. Now, uh, back to Japan uh, and and the sort of genocide that is that that is going on there through the through the uh, through the food supply. Uh, you, you talk about Tokyo citizens are now putting. Geiger counters on on the sidewalks. 